Hey, and what's crackin' like on my community today? My name is Lonnie King, I'm about my team's class, if you can hear what's poppin'. Hey, this is your tie, you see the thumbnail. Today, we're talking about my childhood trauma, okay? So, look, done about a little intro video. Let's get on. So, ever since I could remember, I've been bullied pretty much my whole life. Now, the stuff I've been through has made me a stronger person. I'm not saying that I would go through that again or that I'm glad that I went through that, which I'm definitely not. So I'm gonna tell y'all like a couple mini story times on trauma I've experienced throughout my childhood from school. People hated my guts. Like some people like really wanted me dead. Like that's how bad it was. So let me just tell y'all about it. Here's the first story I'm gonna tell y'all. This happened in third grade, okay? When it was like time for show and tell or something, you would sit in that one little rug and there's like a bunch of little colorful squares on the rug and everyone in the class had to sit on that rug. So it was time for everyone to sit on that colorful ass rug everyone had like their own individual squares like everyone had like their own assigned square so everyone was sitting in their squares right i've been getting bullied ever since like kindergarten so i just i don't like participating in big group things i didn't want to sit near people that hated me so that's why i didn't want to you know do anything right everyone sat from the desks and moved to the carpet area so i was still at my desk you know drawing my little things i was really into drawing when i was at elementary school like drawing was my thing i stopped drawing because of this exact reason but let me i'm I stopped drawing for a reason I'm gonna tell y'all right now, but it was always the same two girls. I forgot one girl name, but I know the other girl name. I'm gonna say her name cause fuck it. Her name was Maya, right? Fuck you. And then the other girl was a black girl. I don't I don't remember the other girl's name. So what had happened was, right, I would do my little drawing on my desk. I'm gonna give y'all a little visual diagram, okay? So let's say that the teacher's desk is right here, okay? This area right here is like the desks. And then like in front of that area right here is like the fucking rug area I was talking about earlier. So this is the teacher's desk, right? I was sitting like in the seat right directly next to the teacher so it was like right there okay so i was just sitting there barbecue sauce on my titties <laughs> <laughs> drawing or whatever i didn't want to participate i didn't care if i lost points i just didn't want to fucking sit next to people i didn't like i've always been like that i just never want to associate myself with people i don't like but anyway and then the two bitches come up to me because the teacher was talking about go over here it's time for carpet time or something i forgot what the phrase was called i didn't want to go to the carpet because i already told y'all the reason the teacher was like come over here come over here right now and then the two girls come up to me both them bitches like they were like glued together shoulder on shoulder all the time i think maya was like the main bitch and the black girl was like the yes woman like you know like those typical ass mean girls in those movies yeah it was some shit like that so maya was the fucking main girl and then the black girl was like her side bitch right they both come up to me to my desk and i'm over here still drawing right they're like what is that they always got something to say bitch what the hell is that what are you drawing why is one eye bigger than the other i was not very good at drawing and they knew that so they made fun of me every chance they got so this bitch ripped my pencil out my hands the black girl she said this is ugly she scribbled my drawing i was like hey what the fuck is wrong with you i didn't say what the fuck but like and then the teacher got mad at me for not sitting even though they came over there to me like I did absolutely nothing to these girls. I'm over here breathing and they literally just made fun of me for no fucking reason. It's those same two girls all of third grade. They would just fucking bully me, bash me, do all this extra stuff. Anyways, that's one little story time. I forgot what year this was, okay? If y'all were in elementary school or in middle school or whatever year school you were, you know what ASP is, which equals after school program. I was in ASP, right? I forgot what year this was, but I was in ASP every year up until eighth grade. The ninth grade I didn't do nothing like that. Anyway, so in ASP, right? we would always go in the garden because my middle school had like a big ass garden full of like different vegetables and whatnot every kid would plant a plant or whatever so there was this one dude it's every year it's a different person having to be my main bully like why 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 for what like for what like his name is alex okay he was a year older than me but we were in the same class right so we were out and there's like a little like seating area it was like shaped like a u and everyone had like a cup of dirt because we were about to plant something they're gonna teach how to like plant something in a little mug or something i had to sit next to this man i was being forced against my will to sit next to this man even though i told him multiple times this guy's always bullying me do i have to sit next to him teachers didn't care they didn't care but when brenda 
that's not a real name but when brenda asked to sit somewhere else because someone's bullying her y'all stopped everything y'all was doing just to move her seat but for me i asked one time they're like no sit down let me just get to the fucking story anyways so we all had cups of dirt right and this man was sitting right next to me he was sitting to my right i vividly remember this i vividly remember this story this man was sitting to the right of me we all had cups of dirt right and then all of a sudden this man threw dirt at my mouth like i'm over here like ignoring him this man threw dirt he picked up some dirt and threw it at my mouth then i was like pleh, pleh, pleh. mind you nobody was looking even though everyone was looking and laughing at his jokes about me so i got mad right when he threw the dirt at my mouth i got mad so what i did i was like you know what you gonna play shit like that you gonna play me like that i grabbed my cup of dirt and i pour it on this man head he said this i was like <laughs> i looked at this man and i poured the fucking dirt on his head and he said ah and then guess who got in trouble you already know me I did, because apparently no one saw him throw dirt on my mouth, even though they were all looking at me. People were playing so dumb because they all hated my guts for no reason. Like, they hated everything about me, even though I just simply existed. And, like, that's why everyone took his side. When we were sent to the ASP office, they said, let's go back to the classroom and ask if there's any witnesses. Every single person said no one threw dirt at me. Are you kidding me are you dead ass dead ass even though y'all were all looking at me laughing at the jokes that he was making of me him calling me ugly and stupid talking about i look like the dirt like i'm the same color as the dirt that he was holding a little like what how was he? I remember like what? Eight, nine year old boy calling me the same color as the dirt. Everyone laughing at the fucking jokes. And then when I get mad, I pour the dirt and everyone's like, no, I didn't see him throw dirt at her mouth. I didn't see dirt. I didn't see no dirt thrown until she threw it at his head. Oh, because y'all all took his fucking, Woo! just like me thinking about this story again, just makes me like, like, what are the teachers doing? Like, the teachers didn't even do shit. Like, y'all just let me get bullied in this motherfucker. Y'all just let me get tortured and laugh about it. Like, <laughs> now let me go all the way deep down to middle school, okay? Now, this incident right here happened in seventh grade. Some of the people who went to elementary school with me went to middle school with me as well. And a little bit went to high school with me as well. But they stopped talking to me or fuck with me in high school. But some of the bullies that bullied me in elementary school went to the same middle school as me and they continue to torture me even more in a different fucking school i'm like you would to think to think you would want to like start fresh and like be different in a different school but no like what you mean wait no like what anyway sorry that was a anyway let me stop um so in seventh grade, right? So I had this science class and this one project we had to do, we were learning about the skeletal system or some shit. We had to get like some macaroni and like use the macaroni to like make a makeshift skeleton or something like that. We had to like glue some macaroni on a construction paper and we had to like arrange the freaking macaroni. Then we had to like label it and stuff like that, right? Tell me why. Cause the class before science class, I had the bullies in the class, right? And I just so happened to have my project there just sitting on my desk while i go to use the bathroom right down the hall mind you this class is chaotic the teacher didn't even give a fuck he wouldn't even pay attention to half the shit that was going on in the class half the shit i go through is because the teachers wouldn't do shit like the teachers didn't do absolutely the fuck nothing about nothing like, when you go to the bathroom when you go to the school you don't just go to the bathroom maybe you actually need to use the bathroom but then after you use the bathroom you like to go and walk around the school a little bit just to get you like a little mental break just to get myself back together because i hated going to school anyway so i come back from my little mental break then i come back to the class end up having a mental breakdown because that project the macaroni project i was supposed to turn in next period was completely destroyed and they like individually pull off the macaroni off my project then they put the fucking thing back on my desk with the macaroni scattered all over the paper, dude. They even like crushed some of the macaroni too. I'm sure they literally got a piece of macaroni and smashed it 
with their hand on the desk. There was like little crumbs all over my paper, plus whole ass macaroni on my project. That shit was just completely destroyed. I was like, who the fuck? I'm like, my project was 100% together when I left for the bathroom. I come right back, that shit is destroyed. Like, I kept all the pieces. And when I went to the next class, I explained to the teacher, so I had my project 100% done right. It was perfect, it was nice and pretty, right? And someone ripped up my shit. I'm glad she understood because if they made me fail, my class because they wanted to be a bully and like destroy my fucking project, I would have been dropped out. No, I did that. Like as soon as I turned 16, I would have been dropped out. And here y'all go in the comments, Lennon, it's not that serious. It happened like years ago. Like you're graduating out of high school now. Girl, if you spend weeks on a little ass project, then right before you turn it in, somebody would completely destroy it. Wouldn't you be mad too? Not y'all gaslighting my feelings, like, Shit like this really just like traumatized the fuck out of me. Like I'm still like, even talking about it, like it's getting me like, angry like. <laughs> so don't go in the comments talking about it's not that serious, it happened so long ago. Like, n I knew exactly who did it too. I knew exactly who the fuck did it. But she was like, nah, I didn't do nothing. Why are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Lying ass bitch. It's the same fucking girl. I forgot her name, but it's the same fucking girl. She peaked in middle school. Like, she was like one of the tallest kids in the school. So I didn't want to fuck with her. But if I see her now, we're probably the same height. I could run your shit. Run me my fade. Run me my fade right here. Now, because I owe my life, oh my mama, I'm meeting that ass. If I was the same height as her in middle school, I would have, you know, like, if she fuck with me now the way she did in middle school, she'd be six feet done. Anyway, let me, like, move on to the next story. Now, eighth grade. This was probably the hardest year I've ever been through. Eighth grade? was the worst year of my life and that's where all my mental health issues start to come in. The bullying got out of hand because of this. I think in one video I talked about this one girl that went to my party and pretended to be my friend for years just to like come to my house and make fun of my stuff and stuff like that. The girl I called Bricks in that one story time. That's that same girl that started this, okay? Like I said, I thought she was one of my best friends. I thought she was cool with me. So I trusted her with this certain information. In eighth grade, I came out as bisexual, right? I only told certain people, like, cause coming out is really like a sensitive thing, especially for certain people. Like coming out was like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire life. One of the first people I came out to was Brit. So me and her was on kick. <laughs> Yes, kick. I was trying to get up the courage to tell somebody that I was bisexual. She was my best friend, quote unquote. So I told her, right? I didn't want to say it out loud. So when we were on the phone or whatever, I texted her. I was like, hey, look at your kick real quick. I have some news for you. So I texted her, hey, I'm bisexual. And then she said, oh. And then she texted me back talking about some me too. Even though she was lying. She's talking about some me too. Like what? Is this nigga serious? Like, don't talk about some me too and then do what the fuck I'm about to tell you what she did. I'm over here thinking, hey, like, since we both bisexual, like, you trying to like... Just to see, like, if we're, like, honestly sure. I wanted to, like, kiss her. She's talking about, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for that, this and this and that. I think this was during Thanksgiving break. So we were like, when we come back to school from break, we'll do that, right? We were like, okay, cool, bye, right? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm over here thinking things is cool, right? Turns out, when she was talking about let's, let's kiss and stuff like that, right? The day before we was about to like meet each other at school, she was like, honestly, I don't think I'm actually bisexual. I think I was just confused. I was like, okay, whatever, right? I mean, I guess. I was like, okay, whatever, we'll just move on. I didn't think much of it. So I come back to school, right? Mind you, she's the only person I, I told. I didn't tell nobody else. I only told 
her. I told her that secret in confidence and she went around telling the whole school. I thought I could trust her, but no, she just opened her big fat mouth. The day I come back to school after Thanksgiving break, I'm hearing all types of shit like gay ass bitch, go kill yourself. Why do you like girls? You're so disgusting. It's not normal for you to be bisexual. Go die, this and this and that. I'm, I'm being told all this shit because I come out to one person. And you know how like when rumors go around, like people like add unnecessary stuff to the rumor to make it seem like it's more than it actually is. This is the most fucked up rumor that's ever been spread about me. There was a rumor saying that I was trying to like bricks in the back of the school with a dirty rusty ass pipe. What? What? What the fuck? People were spreading rumors about me talking about I'm trying to do this girl. I'm trying to like touch her in an inappropriate way that she don't want to. Like what the? That was like the most untrue thing that's ever been said about me. I was like, who told you that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? And there was just like more rumors coming out about me talking about I'm trying to fuck with this girl. I'm trying to do this girl. I'm trying to kiss this girl. Like I'm over here trying to harass women. Like what? I was like flabbergasted. Like, believe what y'all want. But that shit like ruined my credibility for like the rest of middle school. Every girl who ever walked past me, they was like this when they like scooted over. I don't do stuff like that. Like, I just came out. Why would I go harass women after I come out? As soon as those rumors come out, I'm like, the first thing I think I'm, I'm like, oh shit. Now I gotta come out to my parents. I'm like, I feel like this rumor finna go outside of the school and then my parents gonna find out through somebody else. So I feel like I was pressured to come out to my parents sooner than I thought. I called them on the phone at school. I like use a teacher's phone to call them on the phone. Oh my God. Like the whole situation was just so fucked up. Like all because I, Thought I could trust somebody and I couldn't. Like this bitch almost ruined my life. Like more of that part of the story is never come out for somebody else. Anything, like if somebody tells you anything in confidence and they ask you not to tell anybody, you should follow their wishes and not tell anybody. Why are you promising things and then breaking the promise? Like, why are you spreading my business? Like, mm. but you know what's crazy about that though? I let it slide. I let that shit slide and became her friend again. Like. Like, shit was blasphemous. Like, shit was blasphemous. I really thought that I could trust this bitch. That was my worst year of school in my entire life. Those four stories that I just told y'all, that's not even all the shit that's happened to me. That's not even all the shit that's caused me to be the way I am today. That's why every time when I was in middle school, I call my mom, I'll be like, hey mom, can I walk home? I'm not trying to be here right now. Fuck all these motherfuckers out here. I don't wanna deal with these motherfucking bitches ass niggas. Like, come on now, like, like can I walk home? Cause the house is 10 minute walk from here. I don't wanna deal with no bullshit. I don't even want to go to ASP. I just want to stay home and be depressed. Please and thank you. Because, uh, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, that is like a couple handful of stories. If I think of any more stories, I'll do a part two. Let me know if y'all have any like childhood bully stories that y'all got. Let me know in the comments down below, okay? So yeah, that is it for today's video. Okay, thank y'all for watching it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up, subscribe for more. Also, turn on notifications that I get notified when I upload a video that below two times a week, boo, okay? I also have social media, my Instagram is king.london, and my Spanish grammar is king.london, spam, and my Twitter is king.london, 13. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Feel free to check out your okay? Okay. I love y'all so, so, so much. Don't even know. I'll see y'all next motherfucking video, okay? <laughs> Peace.